All right, time for a jam. What? Oh, for Hey, hey, I hope you're all doing well. So do you have a guitar that has neck dive or in technical terms, an absolute pain in the ass? What do I mean? When you stand, it falls. So you're constantly having to adjust it and pull it up like this. Now, it doesn't use a lot of strength in order to adjust the guitar and lift it back up, but playing guitar is all about being relaxed so that you can play things efficiently. And while you're constantly adjusting the guitar, there's extra muscles being used and it really mucks up what you're doing on your neck here and it's just gonna screw up your performance and it's gonna kill your mood. So I have three E2 Eclipses, but this is the only one that has the neck dive issue. The other two are totally fine. So I was expecting it to be just like the other ones when I got this one, turns out it isn't. So I picked this one up the other day thinking, oh yeah, I haven't played this for a while and I love the way it feels and thought, oh cool, I'll take it to my next jam and I completely forgot about the neck dive issue and man, I, it, it needs to be fixed because I cannot handle it. The neck dive issue is more apparent when you've got your guitar lower. I did experiment having my guitar up a little bit higher for a short time, it was sort of sitting up around here and it wasn't too bad, I could get away with it, but now, I mean, that's not much much lower, but it feels a lot more comfortable for me, um, and it obviously slides again. I could get a stickier strap, but I don't want to, then my shirt's gonna get all pulled. There's so many things to take into consideration with this issue. So what I've done is I've gone to my local Bob Jane T-Marts, I don't know if that's an international company, but essentially a tire place, and I got these little wheel weights. Now these are about 25 grams, I think, and I bought 20. I'm not gonna use 20. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the back panel and I'm gonna stick the weights on the inside in here to try to counterbalance and even it out a little bit more. Now this is actually the first time I've ever opened the back of this and it's pretty busy in there. So it doesn't leave me with a lot of room. But so what I'm gonna do is get the weights and I'm gonna to try to stick them around the sides in here. If you do this, make sure you don't bump anything. Now you obviously wanna be careful with the kind of material that you stick in here. These are just weights and I'm gonna assume they're fine. I don't actually know, but we'll find out, hey? So hopefully you can see I've got some just across here, across here, and on the opposite sides here and here. So like I said, it's only about 25 grams in total and I think I used one and a bit. So just to be safe, I jammed that on the inside there. So when I pop it in, I can't see it. I, could, I realized I probably could have stuck it onto the back of here and it would have looked fine because they're black weights, but I don't want to see them. So inside it goes. Let's pop the panel on. Let's try it out. All right, let's find out if it worked. Oh, it's not perfect. So look, it definitely helped. Uh, these things cost me two dollars each. I got ten, so that's only twenty bucks. It's a pretty cheap and easy fix right there. On this style of guitar, where the strap holds onto the body there, obviously it's going to be a little bit imbalanced anyway. But end of the day, I think it's not as bad as it was. It's time to plug into the amp and make sure that everything works totally fine. There we go, the guitar still works, yay. Now, I don't know if it's perfect, it's definitely better, and it obviously weighs just that little bit more now, but that's the sacrifice we have to make. Thanks so much for watching, stay tuned, see you next time.